Is the imbued heart worth bringing along on your PVM adventures for defensive purposes only? Last week, a viewer of mine by the name of September came into my stream and challenged the idea of the imbued heart being useful to bring to Seracnus. By the way, September is actually the real-life brother of the first guest of the Sebe cast, Jukebox Romeo. Both of them are disgustingly talented at the game. September is also the creator of the Max Efficiency TOB guide that has helped me and many others obtain Grandmaster Times for combat achievements. I'll have September's YouTube channel linked in the description for you guys to check out. Go drop him a sub, as nearly all of the information in this video is credited from him. Before we get into the math and the calculations, though, huge shout out to the channel members. Also, guys, be sure to drop a like and sub if you're new here. Now, let's get into it. For the past 24,000 kills, I've been bringing an imbued heart to Seracnus and invigorating myself with it during the trip for extra mage levels. The reason behind this was to be able to tank the mage spawns a bit more. I had absolutely no idea how effective the heart actually was at deflecting incoming damage, though. September asked me a few questions in my stream about how my typical Seracnus trips go. I explained that I generally get around 22 kills a trip before my supplies are exhausted, but that I'll leave immediately upon either a hard or an elite clue drop. With this simple information, September got to work on his own time to give me very precise calculations on whether bringing the imbued heart was a waste of inventory space or not. A few days later, I received this spreadsheet. Don't worry, I didn't understand what I was looking at either. So September was gracious enough to explain it to me as if I were a five-year-old. Basically, to find the damage reduced by the imbued heart, we need to find the difference in average damage taken per kill multiplied by the average number of kills you get a trip. To find that out, we need to figure out how many mage spawn auto attacks you tank during the average kill, and then compare it to heart versus no heart. With the assumption that preserve is not being used, which, by the way, I never use preserve during my Seracnus trips, your average magic level will be at 106. This also assumes timing the heart close to minute intervals. With a DPS spreadsheet, we can calculate the exact accuracy of the spawns when its opponent is hearted or not. A 0.7% accuracy reduction is found on average when hearted, going from 16.94% to 16.24%. September took careful watch for 25 kills and counted the number of auto attacks from single spawns and then when both spawns were alive, adding them together. His rough estimate was 21. Multiply 21 by half of the max hit of the spiders, which is 11, and then multiply that number by the accuracy of the spiders, whether hearted or non-hearted, to calculate the average damage taken by the player per kill. Comparing the damage taken from his average number of autos, the difference of damage between heart and non-heart per kill was 0.83 damage. Now we needed to find out how long the average trip takes. Trips last 22 kills of no clue, but can end as quickly as one kill in. Using some five head formula, the probability of not getting a clue during a trip is 38%, leaving a 62% chance to receive a clue in that time. In his words, taking the maximum length of 22 kills and multiplying it by 62% chance to get something early gives us an average trip length of 13.71 kills. After solving all of this, we simply take the 0.83 damage difference per kill and multiply it by the average trip of 13.71 to reveal how much damage the imbued heart is really saving us. That answer is about 11. Not only is the heart not worth bringing over a humble shark for HP reasons, but it also leaves an extra inventory slot to pick up supplies at trip's ends. Pre-harding at the bank would save roughly 5 HP too, meaning bringing the heart would actually only end up saving you 6 HP per trip. Now, I know this is only calculating the imbued heart's defensive HP save at Seracnus, but the logic can be carried over to nearly any PVM encounter. I can't think of a single scenario where the imbued heart would be more advantageous than a piece of food, unless you use a charged magic weapon somewhere in the fight. I will no longer be bringing an imbued heart with me to Seracnus, thanks to science. If you found this information useful, go click on September's YouTube channel in the description and drop him a sub. Big shout out to him. Thank you guys for watching.